All right, first off, I want to say I'm sorry. I was supposed to put some videos up on my other channel. I had a bunch of questions, and my back went out for a couple weeks, and then I got sick, and I didn't do any of them. And I apologize. I will get them up in the next week, uh, week or so, all of them. But today, we're going to make some flowers for Valentine's Day. And this one's out of walnut. And I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. Just a lot of sanding. All right, and then the riddle for the $10 gift certificate for um, Chef Rick Kids, the riddle is, where can you find an ocean with no water? All right, and for that, it's whoever gets it, the right answer in the comments on YouTube first gets that. I'll send you the code, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, I just have a piece of walnut I treat up and put in my chuck. I have an inch and a half bit here, and I turn the lay speed down to um, about 600. So I'm just going to drill into it and I'm going to go all the way in. Alright, and this one is just for quarter inch gals that I got. Alright, I'm going to turn the leg speed back up and shape. Need to know how deep that is. So, mark it for your depth. It's gonna come with the party tool and go go below that. I have a couple little cracks in it here, but I think I'm going to be able to get rid of those pretty quick.
leave that a little bit thick there because I want to hollow it out a little bit. Okay, I'm going to hollow it out here. Um, I've made, made a few of these. You don't want to make them too thin because you're actually going to be cutting on it, but you don't want to leave them too thick either. So I'm going to go just a little bit under whatever that is. That's you know, maybe quarter inch, but I'm going to go under that a little bit. That's good. All right, I made a little little jig deed to line up the pedals, and I just put a just did it on the bandsaw. So they were fairly even. All right, and then. Kind of want to set a mark on it. Here, right. Okay, and then uh, you need to set a little mark on it where the pedals are actually going to come down to the bottom. Of them. And then you want another mark where your little line's going to be. So, and then you need to go around and I just was kind of guessing the center center of these two. So, just kind of go around and eyeball that and put a mark and then then all you have to do is take and come across there and draw your little lines and I did this with a, a Dremel tool and cut these out and it's just it's just rough it doesn't make a nice clean cut Not that anything's gonna make a make a great cut, but this is what I used. It's just a little uh, flush cut saw, and it actually works works pretty well. And you just cut down into this V, and then go ahead and cut down into here. So I'll do that now. Just go around. They don't really. You kind of want them to be, you know, have a little bit of curve to them, but when you come down into here, you can sand this around a little bit to, to make it look like the, the curve around. Then took it, stuck it in between the two of them. Takes the time. Alright, I just 
kind of the kerf on those little saws is isn't much. So you need to open it up a little bit both ways. Okay, I have them all sanded up, and it works well if you take a piece of sandpaper and fold it over, and you can just kind of work it in there, round them over a little bit, and just go around, just like that. And like I said before, make sure you sand the inside first on the next one. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more and then sand it. Remember that hole's drilled all the way through there, so don't bring it down too much. Alright, and then I'm just going to sand it, and then I'll put some wax on after I use it. Just go, go through and sand up the outside, and then you have to turn it off. And then I went through and did the pedals. All right, there we go. And I'm just gonna part it off. And the more you can open these up, give it, give it that nice little round shape, the more it's going to look like a flower. I have a little crack in there, but it's a flower. It's not supposed to be perfect, right? So here are two more I made, and this one, they just come out, and it's the same thing, you know. You just give it that little shape, like a little vase or whatever, and then, then cut them out like that. And then I made a little, just a bud, and then took a little carving chisel and, and just put some grooves in it. Looked like it was still folded up, but I'll clean up the bottom on all of these and put some dowels in them. All right, there we go. And I just did a variety of different woods, um, some maple and walnut and poplar and a little bit of coco bolo. But these ones here, made the same way. Just just bring your lip around a little bit on that um, and vary the sizes on your, on your stems there. You can actually um, steam them or soak them in water to bend them too. I think I'm going to do that on, on a couple of them. If you want to steam them, 
Um, you can either, you know, hook like a hose or something to a teapot and put them in a plastic bag and that's an easy way to do it. I, I have a little clothes steamer that I use and I just wrap some tape around a plastic bag and, and steam them for a little bit and then you can bend them, put them in a little mold. But there we go. And thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.